One of the coolest things about being a film shooter in 2020 is getting to see so many new and excited faces entering film photography. The look I'm seeing from folks walking into the store is reminiscent of when I picked up my Pentax K1000, started throwing all sorts of funky films into it, and seeing what I got. One of the biggest hurdles I had when I got started was access to an adequate darkroom space or being able to set up my own space. Currently, I'm trapped at home and I don't have my darkroom equipment here. My darkroom's off-site. So what do I do if I just shot a roll of this Eastman Double X and I want to see what's on there? Well, there's a really cool device that launched at the end of 2019 that I want to show you guys today. It's called the Lab Box from Ars Imago. This is a self-contained film loading and film developing tank. So I take off the lid here and it reveals an entire system, a little ecosystem, where I can insert my film cartridge, lead my film all the way into this reloadable reel, and then agitate it by twisting this guy on the side. That's all I have to do. I don't need a changing tent, a dark bag, a separate darkroom space. It's all there. It's self-contained. It's a pretty neat device. And it's actually pretty easy to use. Here, let me show you. So I'm going to take my Eastman Double X. Out of my canister, I pre-trimmed the leader off of the film, so you might need a pair of scissors for this. So I got my film on the leader. I'm gonna take the lid off of the lab box. There we go, actually I'm gonna get my camera out of the way. There we go, now we got some more room. So the goal here is to take my film through the leader under this little metal rail, clamp it onto there, and then feed it along the spool. It's probably the trickiest part. Ooh, did I get it this time? I did. Not too bad. Okay, so there's our little guardrail. Our film needs to go in there. I do need to fetch my little, my little helper here that helps my film along. So this clips onto my film leader and guides it along. Try to get that centered on here. There we go. All right, so that's going pretty good. If I start twisting, what you'll notice is that tension pulls it along. That's it. I'm good to go. All I have to do now is close the lid and you know what happens when it gets to the end of the film? Does it just stop there? Does it go into the canister? No. There's actually a little cutter that's underneath this rod and I move that cutter with this little button right here. That's going to cut the rest of my film to allow everything to go onto the roll. All right, so I'm going to close that guy up, give us a twist. Da, 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 da. And I'm going to twist this until I feel the tension of the, the roll, the end of the roll of 35 mil film. This is a 24 exposure roll. Oh yeah, it's nice and tight because I'm at the tape on the film. Now I need to cut the roll of film, so I'm going to press the button. There we go. I usually give it a couple presses just to make sure. Come on. There we go. All right, so now my roll of film is no longer in here, it's in this side of the lab box. Now we're ready to develop our film. Now we just need some chemicals. For the chemical portion of this exercise, on top of our lab box, we're gonna need a few supplies. We're gonna need some gloves. If you have any spare PPE lying around, these gloves will be fine. We just don't want any of the chemicals on our hands. So we need some gloves. We don't need running water, but we just need a supply of water, so water will work for that. And then we need our two key chemicals. We're gonna need our, uh, our developer, which is in my lovely bottle of creamer right here. Leftover, recycle guys, use leftover bottles. And then my film fixer in here. So film is always gonna develop, develop, stop, fix. Those are gonna be our main steps. Some folks like to do uh, a water bath first to kind of get everything up to temperature. Everything here is all ready to go at room temperature, which is 68 Fahrenheit or 20 Celsius. That's perfect for film developing. So I'm gonna start by adding my developer right to the lab box. The capacity of this lab box is 500 milliliters. So very, very, very economical and you know, all self-contained, which is so, so neat. So I'm gonna start cleaning this up and get ready for developing. Now, one thing that's gonna vary because I'm using black and white film, with black and white films, all black and white films have slightly different developing times because they have different pieces of silver, different sizes of grains of silver in there. So I'm getting my gloves on, safety first. 
There we go. Get my water out of the way. I'm just going to use that as a stop bath today. So I've got my lab box. Oh, I need some way to follow time. I'm just going to get my timer out. There we go. All right. Four minutes is what I'm going to need for developing my Eastman double X. And now I just need to add my developer. All right. Ooh, how are we going to do this? Okay, we're coming up on the end of our developing time. So what I'm gonna need on the ready is my graduated cylinder so I can pour out my developer and my water stop bath. All right, there we go. My time is done. I'm going to pour out my developer. There we go. Great. And now we need a little bit of water to stop the action. You can use an acid or indicating stop bath for this. I tend to use water just because, you know, I got the time. It's fine. Acidic stop bath has its ups and downs. One of the ups is it does everything very, very quickly. One of the downs is if it's too strong, it can actually harm your film. I don't want to do that. I just want it to stop, stop developing. Okay, so we need that in there for about 30 seconds to a minute. This is a great time that if you want to take a break, take lunch, go ahead and do so. Nothing's gonna happen. All right, so stop ass in there, twist it around a little bit. Da 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 da. Pretty good. Okay, we're gonna put our stop bath back in. All right. Last bit on the ticket, we're gonna put our rapid fix in here. So our fixer. Okay, well time's up. The fixer is out. I can't wait, let's see what we got. So there's the film. You can see it got cut off from that little piece of tape on there. If I remove our little ramp, take out this little knob so I can open the tank. Oh, I see some pictures. Can you guys see them? Check it out. Look, it's some pictures of my doggos. It is that easy. Develop, stop, fix. I can do this at home even without a darkroom space thanks to the lab box. If you have any questions about the lab box or want to check one out, be sure to check them out on our website. It's www.mpex.com. And if you have any questions that are related to the lab box or film developing, I do our black and white film classes at Midwest Photo. That's Matt, M-A-T, at mpex.com. I'm happy to help you out. I'm gonna wash this up, hang this to dry, and we'll see you guys next time.